Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today I'm going to show you how we tear down in detail a Samsung Galaxy S20+. Plus. All right, what is up guys? Thank you all again for tuning in and checking out this episode. If this is your first time here and you guys enjoy all things tech and repair related, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack the bell so you're notified on our latest videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, or need a screen repair, please make sure to reach us at www.mrphonedoctor.com or email us repairs at mrphonedoctor.com. If you guys have social media, feel free to check us out on our social media platforms found below. So today you guys are in for a treat. I'm gonna actually go in detail and show you guys how we disassemble a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. This is the phone that we're gonna be working on here. Now this S20 Plus, it doesn't have a back glass. Uh, we took that out in a previous video that we made showing you guys how to safely remove the back glass. If you guys do wanna see that video on how we safely remove the back glass on this device, make sure you guys click up here. I'll leave a card for you guys to click and check that out. All right guys, so let's go ahead and begin removing the uh, back plates on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. As I mentioned before, you do want to be very careful when you're handling this, um, not to touch any of these camera lenses right here because that will leave fingerprints and trying to clean it, you may leave stains on that lens, causing you to have to replace this whole camera assembly. So please be very careful not to touch anything here near the camera lens. So the back plate is attached with three pieces. You're going to have the top piece, you have this metal bracket covering the IC chips, and then you're also going to have this lower uh, back plate that actually covers the charging port. I'm going to go ahead and do an in-depth teardown and show you guys how we tear this down completely. So let's first off by removing the SIM tray. That's one thing you do want to remove. You could remove that later on in another step, but I recommend just doing it now so that way you don't forget. Sometimes if you forget to remove the SIM tray, you may actually pull up on the logic board causing damage to it. So, so just make sure you try and remember to remove the SIM tray first. All right, if the tweezers don't work, which these seem to be a little bit too fat, we can just go and use the, the proper tool, which is a SIM tray remover. There we go, pop that out. And we'll set this aside here. And we can go ahead and begin removing the back plate. The good thing with these Samsung phones is all these screws are the same size, so we can just put them in a little pile here. As long as they come off with the back plate, you'll be fine. Any logic board screws or anything like those, those may be a different size, so you wanna make sure that you do keep those differentiated from this pile. And if you guys are curious, this is a wow stick. Really, really cool screwdriver. Uh, my technician soul actually showed me this little tool and I enjoyed it so much that we decided to get some and use them in our workstations. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in checking this little guy out. Alright, now that we have the back plates screws removed, we can actually go in and we're going to need to lift up this QI charger here, this NFC that is sticking on here. We'll just use a little shim, get under here and just cut right through the adhesive. Let's go ahead and get this top bracket off, top plate. There we go. And this is going to be connected, so you want to be very careful. We're going to want to go ahead and first off kill the power, which is right here. You can see the power right here. Safely remove that. I'm gonna remove this QI. Boom, there we go, there we have it. Here's a QI NFC. Battery's killed, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up here on this flex. And you have your main flex, which goes to your charging port. Let me just reveal this charging port first. And then we can go ahead and lift up on these flex cables. You have one for your OLED. Another which is for the main board, which it tells you here. This one actually sends juice from your charger to the main logic board and to the battery, of course. And then this is another one here. I think this might be an antenna. I'm not sure what this little guy is here, but um, it obviously does do something. All right, so we have those removed. We can go ahead and remove the rest of the flexes. You're gonna have one for the right sub keys here. And then you have another right one here. I believe this might be an antenna. It's weird because some S20 models, they actually don't have this on here. I don't know 
exactly. I'm gonna have to Google. I believe these are some kind of antennas. I see this on the Verizon ones. Uh, maybe Verizon, they put these in with a different type of chip. So lately I've been seeing these on uh, Verizon devices, on the S20 and S20 Plus. Haven't taken apart an S20 Ultra yet, but um, that's gonna be coming out here pretty soon and we'll compare it because I believe that S20 Plus Ultra, um, excuse me, I believe that S20 Ultra that we have is a uh, Verizon, so we'll compare it with these and see if it's got these uh, antennas or whatever these are. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the camera. We got the front camera here. And these are actually glued in, so um, in the older prior models, you actually are able to remove these cameras here. In this model here, unfortunately, uh, they're stuck in here, so no removing these, all right? So we'll go ahead and just leave that in there. Uh, it looks like this is held down by a couple screws here. Actually, let me see, one screw is right here, and I'm gonna set this one in a different pile because it looks like it's a shorty, so make sure that you put this one in a separate pile. We don't wanna get it confused. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look here and see what other parts are on here. Looks like this is another little flex here. Not sure what this is to, but you can see that it has a connector and some kind of deal. Let me get this logic board out and we can get a closer peek inside here. Where's a good entry point? So probably about right here. There she is, came right out. Look at that. Look how beautiful she is. See how that little flex cable is right there? Not sure exactly what this chip is, but it's got its own separate flex and I don't know if it's soldered on or just snaps on, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm sure it has something to do with 5G or something. I haven't seen anything like that before, but we'll leave that there. Um, if you do want to replace the camera, the actual rear camera is replaceable if for any reason it's damaged. Um, it is attached with these cables here in the back. So there's three flexes on here. So you're gonna have this camera right here, and then you're gonna have these two attached to it as well. Oh, and there it goes, dropped right off. Usually these are here with the tape, so good thing is these come off very, very simply. So see that, there's the camera. So I didn't have to force anything or, or press anything out because it's not adhered at all whatsoever. And then we have our charging port. So the charging port, the good thing about these is these are actually replaceable. So if you have any issues, if you break this type C charger, you can go ahead and remove this and put in a new one in there. I know on the S10s, the logic board is actually built in, or excuse me, the charging port is actually built into the logic board. So unless you're a master solder, you can go ahead and solder that piece off and resolder another type C connection which um, we don't do much soldering here we're mainly all hardware and uh, and screens so um, that's something that we cannot repair unfortunately so here we go on the s10s on these this that'll be no problem we can definitely repair this one get this charger out and here she is so there's a gasket right here that actually seats up against here. Helps keep the water resistant out, or it helps keep the water out. But that's pretty much it. I mean, this is gonna have your microphone. You can see the microphone right here. And then it also has uh, the type C charger. And last but not least is we have the battery. So battery guys, um, I know there's a lot of people that are scared to remove these batteries. It is a little scary because the glue that Samsung uses is actually very, very tough. So what we like to do is we like to put a little bit of heat on these devices, um, put a little bit of our special liquid solution down on here, and that just helps soften the adhesive and it just comes right off like butter. So I'll go ahead and get that battery removed and just to show you guys how we do that here in the house. So to remove the battery, we're actually gonna just set it on our heating plate. We like to put these at about 90 degrees Celsius. We'll let it sit here for a few minutes, eh, more than a few, I'd say probably about, like I usually say, We'll set this here for about three to five minutes, let it get nice and toasty. Once it's warm, we'll go ahead and begin removing the uh, battery from the mid-frame chassis. All right, so it's nice and toasty. Let's go ahead and begin removing the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and wanna use some of our solution that we use. We use this on everything. Set this in here. 
just put a little bead down here in the middle, right? Not in the middle, but here on the edges. And then we're gonna use our prying tool. With this prying tool, you're gonna wanna just stick this right in here and just gently lift. See that? Look how easy she came out. Very, very easy. And that's it, battery is removed. Boom, boom. Ready to swap out. And now we have a bare chassis with just the AMOLED on it, right here. There we go. And she's toasty, very, very hot. Set that down. All right, so that was our last final step was getting the battery off the mid-frame chassis. You can see everything's removed. All the parts are separated. And if you guys do need to change any parts, just go ahead and follow these steps in reverse to replace any kind of camera, charging port, or anything like that. So I really hope you guys got some useful information out of here and are able to replace any of the parts on your device. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give us a like. And please stay tuned for upcoming repair videos and some unboxings. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.